Syntax builds the form we see Semantics gives it meanings key Connectives link what minds devise Quantifiers range through truth and lies Modus potent strikes with might Modus tollens flips the fight Logic cuts clean, no shallow line Through the long night, reason shines Previously, we introduced how to define the truth tables for propositions involving a single connective. Now, when dealing with a compound proposition containing multiple connectives, we can use its syntax tree to decompose it into several simpler propositions, each involving only a single connective. After that, we study the truth values of those simpler propositions at each hierarchical level by recursively applying the basic truth tables. With these basic rules in mind, let us now construct the truth table for the example mentioned at the beginning of this section. Recall that the proposition reads, P or Q, and not R, implies S. We first list the four atomic propositions, P, Q, R, and S. Next, we list the two compound propositions at the first level, P or Q, and not R. Then, we list the compound proposition at the next level, P or Q, and not R, which together with S, serves as the antecedent and the consequent of the final implication. Now that the header of the truth table is fully laid out, we move on to listing all combinations of truth values for the atomic propositions. Since each atomic proposition can be either true or false, and they are all independent, a compound proposition involving n atomic components will yield 2 to the power of n possible combinations of truth values so the table will have 2 to the power of n rows. We first fill the columns of all atomic propositions. For the first atomic proposition, fill the first half of the rows with true and the second half with false. For the second atomic proposition, alternate between true and false every quarter of the rows. For the third atomic proposition, alternate every eighth of the rows, true for one eighth, then false for one eighth and repeat. Continue this pattern. Each new column alternates truth values over progressively smaller blocks, cutting the section size in half each time. This way, we generate all distinct combinations of truth values in an organized fashion, which will allow us to evaluate the compound statement row by row using the basic truth tables. Let us deal with the scenario where all the atomic propositions are true. Since P is true, the disjunction P or Q is true. Since R is true, the negation not R is false. Now that not R is false, it follows that the conjunction is false as well. But this conjunction serves as the antecedent of the final implication. And when the antecedent is false, the implication is true, regardless of the truth value of the consequent. We conclude that the implication is true in this case. Let us study another scenario where P is true, while Q, R, and S are all false. We proceed similarly as before. Since P is true, again the disjunction P or Q is true. Since R is false, the negation not R is true. Now that the two individual propositions, P or Q and not R, are both true, so is their conjunction. Now the implication has a true antecedent and a false consequent which in turn produces falsity in this case. The remaining cases can be studied in a similar way, and we leave it to the audience. Now that you've learned what a truth table is, and how to use it to evaluate the truth value of a compound statement based on its atomic components, a natural question arises. Are there propositions that are always true, no matter what the truth values of their atomic components are? We'll explore this question in the next section. Shinla Tensei